defend the world from the return of the Shadow Kings, just as the brave Pharaoh did 5,000 years ago. YouTube Indie Jugio here today, and we are going to be opening up some Ancient Sanctuary. I think there are five unlimited and then three first edition packs. Um, I bought some lots off an auction house, and I think these are heavy, at least the unlimited ones. Um, should be I opened one off camera and pulled an amplifier, so should have some good pulls, hopefully, in the unlimited ones. Uh, it's pretty cheaper opening for vintage uh, packs. These are these are pretty obtainable and for a reasonable price, but still some really cool cards in the set. So it should be a fun opening. So stick around for that. We are going to open them all five unlimited first before we get into first edition. Um, but should have some nice hollows here, hopefully, like I said. So 2004, these cards have waited a long time to be opened up. And what will we have in pack number one? I have no idea if these are retail, hobby, anything like that. So we can truly pull anything because of my lack of knowledge. <laughs> All right, we have Protector of the Sanctuary, Mermaid Knight, Nin Ninjutsu Art of Transformation, Arcane Archer of the Forest, Goblin Thief, 2,000 Needles, Lucky Seven, all right, we definitely have a haul. You can just tell by the border how dark it is. And look at the difference in border. Uh, and the Sanctuary in the Sky. Probably one of the better supers to pull, honestly. And I'm not going to grade these um, unlimited ones unless it is something crazy. And uh, give a quick shout out here to Gezi TCG. These are his sleeves along with Strictly Sealed. They've kind of partnered on them. So if you uh, want some old school sleeves for cheap, check them out. He has the blue ones, and he's recently released the gray ones for Metal Raiders, and he's going to have a few more colors out um, very soon. So these are perfectly fit for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. A little oversized, but um, um, definitely meant for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So quick shout out to him. No no promotion or, or you know paid advertising, just uh, like the sleeves and... Hopefully he had, can be successful with those. So pack one, we did hit a hollow, so that's a good start. Hopefully the other four will have um, at least, well, hopefully we hit at least one ultra. Um, but you never know with a random lot what you're going to hit. Could be all ultras, could be all supers, we could hit a secret. And that's why you open them. Okay, kind of felt like there was 10 cards, felt weird, but I think we do have nine cards here. All right, the Legendary Jiu-Jitsu Master. I think in first edition, this is worth over a dollar. Beckoning Light, Vampire Lady, Enchanting fit, Fitting Room, Goblin King, Mystic Walk. That used to be worth a couple bucks. Unsure what it is worth now. Emissary of the Oasis, Micro Ray, and we have the Agent of Judgment Saturn. Ultra Rare. It's funny because like this set is so cheap, but it actually has quite a few um good common cards in it so you can actually get a decent amount of value just out of the commons in the set it's kind of like pharaonic guardian too a lot of the commons uh are worth you know a dollar or two with you know metamorphosis and trap dust shoot dice jar worth um you know three four ten dollars even so funny how the uh price per set averages out over time all right so we're two for two put that in the background first ultra so we got our ultra out of the way now let's uh, bump it up in rarity to secret rare why don't we like i said we have five unlimited packs and then three first edition and i have no idea on the first edition if they're going to be heavy or light the weights were kind of they were they were heavy but i don't know if they're gonna have a hollow they were kind of all over the place on weights phronic protector desert sunlight spirit color Blessings of the Nile, Wall of the Normal, Metal Armored Bug, Solar Ray. Ooh, we do have an effect. Could be a secret, could be an ultra. Hey! <laughs> we are going right up the ladder. Missouri DeVille, Secret Rare. Um, this is actually one of the first secrets that I remember as a kid. Um, so this, this card's always had a uh, little soft spot, had a soft spot for it, but um, 
only worth a couple bucks now, but still super, super nice. So it has an, almost a uh, slight hollow bleed too. So that is very cool to pull. I would much rather pull this than um, end of Anubis too. So that is unexpectedly very cool. I pulled that once before. I don't, I think I still own it in a tin. I pulled it out of a 2000 and what would that be? 2004 tin, T-I-N, and graded it, and it came back a tin a long time ago. A long time ago, these were worth 449 and honestly, probably <laughs> randomly uh, loose. They're probably not worth much more than that, you know, maybe maybe 10, 10, 15 bucks for unlimited. I mean, a first edition box goes for five, 600 bucks. So the pack, first edition packs would be worth 20, 25, maybe 30, uh, if they're truly unweighed loose. All right, so we have hit a super ultra and secret, and we have this pack and one more before we get to the first edition. Weapon Change, Protector of the Sanctuary, Mermaid Knight, Solar Flare Dragon, Wall of the Normal, Metal Armor Bug. All right, definitely have a Hollow Solar Ray, Enemy Controller. That is an amazing one, too. Super, super cool to pull. Pretty minty, minty as well. A little off-centered high to low. Um, but once again, probably just going to keep these for the binder. Spell card, enemy controller. So yeah, you have you know, dark magic attack, uh, burst room of destruction. Uh, I would be very, very happy to pull a blowback dragon. Um, a lot of cool ultras that enemy controller probably has the best value, but it might be, might be getting. An, I mean, it's been reprinted like twenty five times, but it. It might be in rarity collection too, I'm unsure. And then if that's the case, it's gonna have like seven printings there, so. But you gotta love the original, the original release of any card. Legendary Jujutsu Master, Beckoning Light. This is the last unlimited pack. Can we end up with a bang? Kickman, Goga, Gogiga, Gaga, Gigo. All right, we have another effect, Sword of the Soul Eater and Zeborg. I would absolutely love to pull Zeborg in first edition uh, PSA 10 uh, condition because that is a card I need for my PSA registry set and I do not own it and don't want to spend the premium in paying for a 10. Um, it is a somewhat playable card in some old formats, I think, so it has um, some decent value playability wise. And so it just, it's hard to find raw in mint condition because it is, was played. Okay, so we did pretty well on the unlimited packs. We went five for five. I mean, two really solid um, supers, two really solid ultras and a secret. I mean, if you're opening a box, you'd be happy with, with that box. All right, so we have our first edition packs now. Um, I think I bought like a lot of, maybe 10 or so, and these are the three that were heavy, but like I said, they were kind of all over the place, so I could easily see all of these not being uh, a hollow hit. It's got some chipping on the back, if it is anyway, which is um, pretty common from my experience with Ancient Sanctuary. All right, Legendary Jiu-Jitsu Master. These are first edition now, Beckoning Light, K2 Death Scissors, Vampire Lady, Metal Armored Bug, Solar Ray, Goblin King, Mystic Walk is a nice one. Needle Burrow. All right, if you're going to pull like a somewhat damaged one, I'm happy it's this one. This is probably like um, probably like a $1 card, even a first edition hollow. So not going to grade this one. This one will just go in my binder. But we did hit a hollow, which is a good sign. So... That means, I'll put Mystic Walk off to the side. That means hopefully that these other two packs will be hollows as well. Hopefully they're in a little better condition, but if not, so like I said, didn't break the bank to buy these packs. Super fun, cheaper, nostalgic opening. 
All right, that one looks to be a little better condition if it is a hollow. All right, we have another legendary Jid 2 Master. I'm gonna put that off to the side too. I think it's worth a dollar. Vampire Lady, very similar pack. Enchanted, like the exact same. Solar Ray, Goblin King. That was like the, I'll have to pull that other pack out. Zaborg, oh, I jinxed it. I, I pulled it, but it's got to be off-centered. So that's another reason why this card is hard to find. And it does have just a little chipping up there. I might grade it just, just for fun. But I, if anyone is super interested in it and wants to pay, like, you know, PSA 9 pricing for it, I would probably just sell it outright. But that is, that's funny that I called it that I wanted to pull it, and here we are. But I'm going to have to look at these uh, commons really fast because I'm like 90% sure we just pulled the exact same commons. Goblin King, Goblin King, Solar Ray, Solar Ray. Yeah, look at this. Metal Armored Bug, Metal Armored Bug. All right, we did not get a vamp, so there's like a couple different ones. The Legendary Jiu-Jitsu and Mystic Walk. It's like... Six out of the eight commons were exactly the same in those two packs. That is weird. I've always had like a theory on like you can only get certain some certain commons in a hollow pack. Like if you're only opening light packs, you're not gonna pull like some commons. I have no no basis based on that theory, but it just seems like in like you know you watch enough openings, you're like just based on some of the commons that you see, you can almost tell that there's going to be a hollow in the pack okay so we've done uh super super well so far on the opening so uh can't be mad if we miss here been super fun night is sandwich that is a new one put that off to the side door of fate mystic shine ball got the reprint and ghost from the past always you always think it's a secret when you get that because it's like the only vanilla card in the set besides dark magician delta attacker the law of normal Metal Armor Bug, glad we went three for three on that one. And Soul Array, we went three for three. Pretty sure Warrior of Zera is also worth more than a dollar. And, ooh, first stream of destruction. I do not know why they did not call this, you know, White Lightning or, you know, some other more iconic um, phrase. Because they did Dark Magic Attack with um, the other counterpart uh, card in this set. So I don't, I, I don't know why they didn't go with White Lightning for this one. But we did get an Ultra, and this one is in pretty solid condition. I will probably, probably grade this one. It's off a little high to low, so I would be um, not surprised if we got the 9, but still. Um, I like the grade cards that I pull, so we'll give it a chance here. So I am, I mean... I'm very happy with, with the opening overall. So we'll do a quick recap. Um, pretty short video, so you guys probably hopefully stuck with me the whole way through. You might have skipped to the end just for the first edition, which I don't blame you really too bad on that one. And we will do, do a recap here. Okay. For the Unlimited, we did pretty pretty solid, as, as solid as you could really hope for. Sanctuary in the Sky, Zaborg, the Thunder Monarch. Then we got Agent of Judgment, Saturn, and Enemy Controller. So we got two Supers, two Ultras, and we hit the Secret with Missouri. And then for the first edition, really started off slow with the Needle Burrower. And then Zaborg uh, was a nice transition to Burst Stream of Destruction. So, I mean, for what I picked for these packs, I am um, very happy with the pulls. Nice to see that the Auction House just didn't sell a whole lot of light packs. So that was a very nice surprise. Figured they'd all be light and whipped out the scale and we did have some heavies and they actually contained hollows. So always nice to see that happen. So hope you guys enjoyed this nostalgic vintage opening. Uh, these packs are 2004. So, I mean, 20 years old at this point. So let me know your favorite poll, any thoughts, comments. Subscribe if you have not. And as always, thanks for watching.